Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to share with you today Google Trends, a free tool that Google allows you to understand how a certain search term or a topic is trending based on their data and they publish it and they release it for you. So I'm on trends.google.com and I want to show you an example or two so we can get into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to take a certain term that I want to know uh, the trend of, right? So for example, I want to look at e-commerce. Okay, this is just a term. When I auto type it in, I can specify the topic or the specific search term or any related ones that Google recommends to me. Okay, so I'm going to click on e-commerce and now I'm going to have some information here. Um, number one is I'm going to have the interest over time. Okay, so I can see in a relative way based on the most popular, the 100% uh, all the way down to not popular at all. I can see the trend and I can see over time how it's moving. And so if you notice right here at the top, you have filters. This is based on the location, right? I can do worldwide or a certain country. I can do it based on a time frame. For example, I want five years or a custom date range. Let's say I want from two years ago, okay? Just for example, or three years ago, right? So I can see that and I can actually filter by major categories and what type of search, right? The search term that I'm looking for, is it a Google search, a YouTube search? Is it just a regular web search or an image search, right? So I'm gonna see here and I can notice, for example, in the last two years roughly, that I can see that the trend overall from about this period, from about March 2020 is kind of going up. And since then it kind of went up all the way right here. And then what I can also do is I can see more information, the entrance by subregion, for example, and related topics and related queries, other terms that people search for that are related to e-commerce. So what I can do is I can also export to CSV. I can open it in a spreadsheet. I can embed it, right, embed it in my website, and I can also share it. Now, the other thing that I use a lot is this comparison tool right here. So in many cases, I want to search for two different products, two different terms, two different things, and I want to compare how popular they are and how the trend is actually going. So let me show you. Let, let's type in, for example, Nike. Okay, I'm going to search and Adidas. Okay, I want to see which one is more popular, for example, and I can I have more comparisons. And you'll notice here right here, you see Adidas is actually less popular than Nike, right? And they have some kind of similar trends right here. There, or at least there's some kind of spike right here. Okay, and you can see there's some kind of correlation between them. Maybe the times, uh, for example, this looks like Christmas time, right? Holiday season in US. Um, and obviously I can filter otherwise. So that's basically, it. it's a way for you to see in a relative way how popular things are. And you can compare things, you can filter. It's a really nice tool. And you can, you know, obviously download the data and use it for other research purposes. I use it a lot for, for work related, marketing related, understanding trends, um, for some of the search engine optimization, ads, things like that. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll be making more videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, appreciate your time, guys.